The truth about Luis Araña. I remember seeing Luis for the first time ranting in a video on Facebook. It must have been around 2017 or somewhere around there. I do not remember. But I remember that I used to follow Slap City on one of the Facebook groups. As many of you listening do the same. You know about Slap City. You've heard about Slap City. But you have not yet gone to visit Slap City. That's how I was. I was intrigued by Slap City, but never thought about going into the slabs to do interviews. That idea came later. When I saw Lewis in this one particular video around 2017, it might have been 16 or 18, I do not know. Lewis seemed, Lewis seemed to be inside of a trailer, and I remember that he was impacted by some type of discrimination that took place in the slabs. One thing that I do remember is that the rant had to do with something about gen gender fluidity. That I do remember. When I first started filming at Slap City, I saw Lewis several times, but I never knew who he was. I saw him playing at the range one time. He was playing guitar and singing. I believe he was singing a Prince song. And if, I, if my mind serves me correctly, he had just gotten out of the hospital that one day. Or he had mentioned that he was supposed to be in the hospital, but that he rather he would have he chose to be at the range with his fellow slabbers. The first season passed and I never got the chance to meet Lewis until sometime in 2022. The first season I got to meet Nomadic Zig, Dot, Slap City Jack, Waterboy and many other of the wonderful slabbers. I actually don't remember the first time that I met Lewis. Wait, actually, I do remember the first time I met him. It was when his two trailers burned down. I remember seeing a post on Facebook about trailers burning. So I jumped into my then working Isuzu rodeo and hit the gas to get there as soon as possible. Unfortunately, the train was in the way and that delayed my arrival. Remember that I took another route and I almost got stuck because I wanted to get to the fire as soon as possible. There was something in me that just was pushing me to get to the fire as soon as possible, but unfortunately, I was delayed. When I arrived, the firemen were already putting out the flames. I asked Lewis if it was okay to film, and he agreed, as I always do when I film at Slab City. I can't say that I can't say that Lewis is one of the honest individuals at the Slabs. At, le at least he made it appear to be that way, because it's it because it seems like he has no filter, but maybe he just fooled me. Who knows? After that, I had the opportunity to talk with him several times. I've gave, given him and his friends rides. And one time, I even got to spend a little bit of time with him and other friends in his trailer talking during his birthday, I believe it was. On a particular night, I took Lewis some water. He scared the shit out of me. For some reason, Lewis began doing acrobatic karate maneuvers. I think he was just stretching or something. But at that moment, I thought he was going to beat the shit out of me. It turned out to be that he was just doing some, some type of exercise. That is all for now. Make sure to sub, hit the like button, and share if you have not done so yet. Until next time.